Now normally I don't provide commentary on these sorts of weird bug videos, but in this case it's necessary for me to actually um, explain adequately what it is I do to form this glitch. But as you can see, here I am inside of the brain of the final boss. I have discovered a way to complete the final boss without using the bubble ball or cruise bubble. Just run on through here and break the fuse. There we go, final boss done. Um, so how does he actually do this glitch? Oh, yeah, you got a little music video because I have 100 spatulas. So, to do this, I use a couple of glitches, one of which I found on my own, which is what I'm showcasing here. I also figured out uh, use a couple glitches from other people. Now, somebody else already put up a video of how to complete uh, the first stage of this fight against the robot from the outside without using the cruise bubble or bubble bowl, so I'm not going to do that. Um, you do some weird glitch where you get tossed up in the air on one of the platforms and uh, touch an invisible golden spatula and that just ends the fight immediately. For this part of the fight, what you have to do is you need to actually go on the brain. Uh, there's another fun path to take up on top of the brain, but this is quicker and easier for me. So, the reason why I might actually want to do this is because, say, you want to beat the game without actually doing either of the bosses, either the major bosses that give you the bubble bowl or cruise bubble, which is what I'm planning on doing. Um, to do that, to beat the game afterwards, you would have to uh, be able to beat the final boss without using cruise bubble or bubble bowl. So, one glitch that I did not find on my own is. See, when you're ever you break the fuse, this closes you and you can't get out. It looks like you can get out right here, but you can't. That's just an invisible wall. At least it's invisible from this side. So, there's a glitch you can do right here, where... If you jump on this red piece up in the top right corner, you can actually clip through the ceiling. Huh, oh, it's usually easier than this. There we go. <laughs> looks really trippy. But now we're in the second tube. You can actually see if you go up here, I believe, and activate the cruise bubble, um, that these two tubes are actually very close. Anyways, so let's break this fuse. Now, time for the glitch that I actually found on my own. And this is what lets you get uh, outside of, or to the inside of the brain. This is what you need to do to be able to uh, complete the game without using the cruise bubble or bubble bowl, because I can't get out of here, I can't get through there. I'd show you myself trying to clip through that little uh, hatch, but I'd probably get stuck. So I found out right here, this game doesn't like this thing here. If I just stay here, it kind of shifts me back and forth and likes to teleport me too. Now this takes some time and some trial and error, but if I keep nudging myself around in here, Eventually, I will enter a infinite fall state. And you have to know what to do here, otherwise you're going to just get yourself stuck on uh, infinite fall state forever while clipped inside of the wall. It takes some patience. Just keep trying to approach at different angles. Darn it! So I'm so good at that, I'll teleport you back for some reason. The game really doesn't like this ledge. Of course, Nobody cared to really fix this since you're not supposed to be able to be playing a special problem here anyways. Okay, so now I'm in free fall state. So if I pre so if I hold left the direction of this wall here, the tube, and keep spinning. And quite possibly jumping as well. It's possible. Although it may take a few tries, might get stuck once or twice. It is possible to clip through that wall. Oh, crap. Twenty minutes later. There we go. Ha! There's really no consistent way of doing it. 
It just happens or it doesn't. I I can't really offer much advice, just kind of keep jumping, moving the stick around, and the big thing, the big important thing is just to keep attacking. I don't know why, but that's what you want to do. So if you actually have the cruise bubble and you wonder what the hell the inside of this thing looks like, feel free. And yes, there are boundaries on the outside of this thing. And if you fall down, no, you can't get back up, but you will be uh, down at the bottom of the brain. But this does mean that a playthrough of the game without completing the bosses is actually completely possible. Because, luckily enough, you can actually just run behind this thing, destroy this fuse, right there. Game over! Now, if you want to actually understand how to do this entire boss fight without using the bubble or cruise bubble, uh, check out the other videos in the description. I'll explain how to do that trick that lets you go through uh, boundaries that let me do that skip towards the beginning, uh, where I just jump straight to the last platform, and also I will also uh, show a video of how to get past the first part of this fight, where you actually find the robot from the outside by doing some weird glitch that skips your the entire fight. I have big plans for all this. Big plans. Thanks for watching.